Hello everybody and welcome back to the Visual Guys Wrestling. Just want to say uh, thank you so much. The last Raw review uh, did some like um, 23 hits I think it was. Which is our best review for like Raw or Smackdown. Which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. But I'm going to try and whiz through this review as quick as I possibly can. Yeah, that's about, about 10 minutes ago. I wasn't supposed to be doing this review. Chris is actually having car trouble so he rang us. Can you quickly do Raw? No sweat. I was actually getting other videos ready for tomorrow and Thursday. Because we've got busy couple of days. Next couple of days with filming and stuff. But anyway, here's what happened last night on Raw. Our truth and Goddess have like a back and forward of film director stuff. It was really lame. Don't know the direction of where they want to go with this. Right, it literally says in my nose, our truth Goldust, lame stuff. Titus O'Neil beat Kalisto. Um, right, cool. Apollo Crews ringside, but Titus wins by holding the tights, and Apollo keeps going, yeah, I've seen you win, but you held the tights, so hey, selfie. Yeah, just, just, right. Enzo Amore laid out again backstage. Um, we've also got an interview as well. Uh, well, obviously, sorry, Big Cass. He comes in and he's like, Kurt, who's this, blah, 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 is this the Revival? We're going to go find them. The Revival had an interview um, and they basically pointed out that they, they've they been at every Raw, um, showing the background and stuff. And they were there the night that Enzo did get attacked, so was it the Revival? But then Corey on commentary says something about, oh, Big Cass was there, well, maybe with him. So Big Cass comes out, fronts Corey Graves, and he's like, whoa, sorry. I'd be intimidated if Big Cass was there kicking off with me. So it's all a big mess still. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Who keeps taking out poor little Enzo? Uh, again with Corey Graves, he was, he was in this quite a lot this time. I love Corey, this is all good. He gets a text message, uh, Cole goes to talk to him, he's in the middle of reading the text, and he's like, okay, sorry guys. And he goes back and shows Kurt Angle this text, and it basically says, like, you're ashamed to be an Olympic gold medalist and stuff, and this text message could really get Kurt in trouble, and they, like, <laughs> they didn't tell you who it's from, and Kurt's like, why have you got this? And Corey's like, people just like to tell me stuff. He's a cool dude, I'll tell him stuff, but, uh, so we got a mystery of this mystery text. Those, of, I, I don't know if I was watching an episode of, like, Diagnosis murder or what, but yeah, mysteries. The Alexa Bliss, um, Bailey, this is your life segment was a bit. Uh, <laughs> basically, like from years ago, The Rock and um, Mick Foley, this is your life segment, really awesome. They did this again, they had props out, old trophies, yearbook, and that, and they had Bailey's ex boyfriend supposedly out, and all the jokes were just crap, and it was just boring and went on for ages, and it did nothing. Eventually, Bailey comes out, she's a bit like, err. Goes to reach for the kendo stick after beating Alexa Bliss up for a bit, but then Alexa Bliss stops and gets a kendo stick from out of the table and whacks her. <sighs> Worst segment in friggin' ages. The show actually started off with Miz TV. Uh, he's got Shemsa Zara one. He's basically saying how they're the two most hard-working guys and deserving of a title shot. So out comes Dean. Spat at it a bit, and he's uh, basically the miss like, There's only one of you, there's, there's three of us, who are you gonna get? And as much as it was cool, the crowd were into it, it was a bit like, Well, you, you, the Hardy's gonna come out, and you're gonna have a tag match, and you know, so the Hardy's come out, and they had a tag match. <laughs> um, the, the match itself was fine, the Hardy's and Dean picked up the win, uh, Swanton onto the Miz, the end, pin, done. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I would have said the Hardy's should have, or the, the, they should have lost. Because I think they're going to win. I think Dean and the Hardys are going to win their matches at Extreme Rules. Actually, no, I don't think maybe not Dean. I don't know. I don't know what I think of the segment anymore. I just really want something interesting to happen in respect to the Hardys and Sheamus Cesaro and stuff. So I don't know. It was an okay segment. Rich Swan versus Noam Dar, uh, Alicia Fox, Alicia at Fox, and Sasha Banks ringside. This was more about them, well, the girls, the women, it felt like more than the cruiserweights. Um... Rich Swan ends up picking up the win because Alicia Fox is trying to get involved. Sasha Banks stops her and he goes and picks up the win. I don't know, I just felt really... I think a lot of people predicted this sort of thing was going to happen and I just want Sasha Banks to get away from this. It doesn't feel like it's going to benefit her whatsoever. I'm not trying to take anything away from like Alicia Fox and Noam Dar out, but I just think the whole storyline isn't doing any of them justice. More cruiserweights. Uh, we got Jack Gallagher and uh, Austin Aries teaming up against Neville and TJ Perkins. It was a cool little match. Um, absolutely fine. Th this cruiserweight story uh, line arc, I'm actually getting behind. It's pretty awesome. But uh, we got Austin Aries tapping out Neville with the last chancery, which was friggin' awesome. And I do think that Austin Aries will take the title of him next week. Sorry, yeah, the next uh, on Sunday, whatever. So we'll see what happens with there. But yeah, it was it was a cool little cruiserweight tag match. Sometimes, obviously, as you guys know, the cruiserweights do. Feel like less than a bit boring, but no, nah, at the minute they're going okay. Uh, Samson versus Zach Evans. 
Samson had a song. Um, the lyrics were okay because he was on about like Dean Ambrose, Lunatic, and Miz and stuff like that. The, the way they wrote the lyrics was pretty cool. But this song definitely didn't get as much like he is the last song he did. Uh, but I think the crowd was still relatively into it. But it was pretty much a squash match. Samson destroyed Zack. End of match. Samoa Joe versus Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. Awesome match. Uh, from out the most of it, it was mainly like Wyatt and Samoa Joe teaming up with Finn. But Finn ends up hitting the coup de grace on Bray Wyatt, but then Samoa Joe comes in and steals the win. Um, it's just showing like extreme rules. Um, Chucky finisher out there, do what you got to do. But like any man can just come in and pick up a win. But it's really cool. I can't wait for all five, you know, with Reigns and uh, Rollins introduced as well to go at extreme rules. It's going to be awesome. But that was a really cool segment. And finally, Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. What a match! These <laughs> boo Roman Reigns all you want. He gets the matches done like it's so good, and Seth, both of these people, oh, it's so good. The only thing is, you can maybe say was making Roman look way too strong than he needed to because we had Roman kicking out of all sorts from Seth Rollins, the the splash, um, just kicking out everything. Roman Reigns pretty much be a done win. So I mean, that is a bit if you could pick it that way. But besides the finish. Is up for debate, but the actual match was friggin' amazing. And again, these two getting chucked in with Joe Bray Wyatt in uh, Finn Balor is gonna be. Um, Stream Rules isn't gonna be the best pay per view, but this will be an awesome match. I'm, I'm pretty much, I think I'm gonna guarantee it'll be an awesome match. But yeah, um, that was also a match on it, uh, an awesome match on its own. It's a good way to finish off my little Raw review. Sure, I mentioned that Reigns picked up the win against Seth. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, but that was Raw this week. I'm gonna give it a for a go home show. I'm gonna give it a. Oh, the Alexa Bliss segment took it down low. I'm going to give it six and a half. We're going to say six and a half. I think that's fair. Oh no, we're going to go for seven because the, the Joe match with Bray Wyatt and Finn and the Seth and Roman match were really awesome. So you can kind of forget, forgive any other mistakes. It, no, it was for a go home show, it was alright. Uh, but yeah, that was Raw review. Uh, Raw this week, seven out of ten. Um, Chris should be back next week. He's Like I said, he's having car troubles. But I'll be back tomorrow with Superhero Wednesday and Smackdown review. And on Thursday, we've got Wonder Woman film review because we're going to watch a midnight release. Uh, Wonder Woman midnight vlog and Pokemon Thursday. So there's just loads of videos coming up in the next couple of days. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you can leave that like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you guys for watching our last Raw review. Hopefully many other people come watch this one and enjoy. But uh, peace out.